All right, y'all, I'm back with some more. The real reason Lil Baby hates no cap. My fault, sorry. Uh, you know what would be messing, you know what would be, like, boggling me? It's just, it's just the fact that, like, these beefs just be so random. Like, beefs today are so random, like... Like, uh, like, like, for real, like, be some of these beefs today are so random. I had no recollection in anything that Lil Baby and No Cap had beef. It's just like not knowing that Migos and 21 Savage have beef. It's like, it's just so random. Like, they don't say nothing about it. Like, I mean, if it's it's already not for the fact that, like, they don't be doing songs with each other and nothing like that. It's like, it's just so random. Like, when did y'all start beefing? I didn't even know that. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. We seen 4K Train and 4PF going at it online. When Youngboy dropped I Hate Youngboy, he had bars for Lil Baby. Now, a lot of people think this came out the blue, but 4K Train and 4PF had static for a while now. Really? All behind Youngboy's artist, No Cap. No Cap and Lil Baby are another classic example of friends turned to enemies. They friendship turned to diss songs and threats being exchanged from their camps. Hold up. Is No Cap still with NBA Youngboy? Or is he like off? Is, is he not signed to him no more? Hold on, let me see before I continue. Cause that that is good. Gotta wonder is is No Cap still signed to NBA YoungBoy? Uh, no Cap. NBA young boy. Um, as far as I can see here, he's still signed to, uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, he's still, he's still signed to NBA young boy. Yeah, he's still signed to NBA young boy. I don't know why. This little baby beef is the reason did. why we haven't seen a Rilo No Cap song in a few years, despite them being childhood friends. Oh, but well. to tell this story, we got to start all the way from the top, going back a few years, taking this story to Mobile, Alabama, where we had two young aspiring rappers trying to make it, Rilo and No Cap. They grew up together, knew each other before they became big artists. Oh, okay. Rilo and Cap was locked in. So they was, they was really making friends. endless music together. And they got even closer because they were some of the only rappers coming out of their city. But Rilo noticed another up and coming rapper, one who hailed from Atlanta and went by the name Lil Baby. Rilo from Mobile, Alabama. This dude named Mike and Knight. He brought Rilo to me for a feature for like a band, 500 days, mm. like when I first, first started rapping. So when Rilo, when I heard Rilo's song, then it was like, shit, I be on. Like, mm. man, like, shot like, like, he sound like one of us. And he just started like running with me. So Baby was fucking with Rilo. And you can't mention Rilo without mentioning No Cap, especially back then. So Baby started fucking with No Cap too. They was all kicking it together, going live in the studio, taking pictures, making music. You know what I'm saying? It was just locked in. And at the same time, No Cap started fucking with NBA Youngboy, Quando Rondo, and they click 4K Trey. Keep in mind, this is before any type of 4K Trey 4PF beef. No Cap and Quando was linking See, up. I didn't even know that either. What the hell? <laughs> Lil Baby and NBA Youngboy don't like each other too? Bro. And those two, those almost two of the biggest rappers now in the game. Two of the biggest rappers in the game don't even like each other? And I didn't know, like, I didn't even know that. That's crazy. And songs together, No Cap was remixing Youngboy songs. Shit, he was even dissing Youngboy's ops in his songs. Cap was locked in with Youngboy in them. And his relationship with 4PF was still going strong. No Cap was still making music with Rilo. And he was locked in with some smaller 4PF niggas too. Shit, he even had a song with Gun at this time. Everything was operating smoothly. There was still no bad blood. And Lil Baby was getting bigger and bigger. He was at the point where he could sign artists. And the first two people he planned on signing was Rilo and No Cap. Lil Baby threw No Cap on his album, Street Gossip, giving him a huge look. And Lil Baby was going around claiming No Cap is his artist. Then I got two artists that I signed, like two of my artists. So Damn, you were not playing. A little dude named Rilo mm -hmm. and another one named No Cap. They actually hard. So I guess at one point, Lil Baby signed you or, or no? Nah, I, I, ain't, I didn't sign a little baby. 
Y'all see where the confusion came from? Mm. Lil Baby planned on signing No Cap. That's why he put Friday him on his album. Fine. He was promoting No Cap like he was his artist. Mm. And they had to have had some type of verbal agreement. Otherwise, Lil Baby wouldn't have signed. I mean, he had to if, 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 he's, bringing, if he's bringing No Cap's name up on, on a breakfast club. That's a, big, that's a big look right there. It had to be some, some type of agreement going down. For real, for real. This. Baby was still fresh to this rap shit, so he didn't know exactly how to sign an artist. Baby told him oh, this and expected Cap and Rilo to wait till he learned how. Oh, Tell okay. you straight up, I don't know. I'm like, bro, I don't even know how to. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Nigga, just like you run with me, like you my artist. I'm gonna figure it out. Like, okay. yeah. But I'm gonna figure it out. Right. I know how to you feel do what it. I'm sign. Baby was expecting things to stay down with him until I they see. got the business part figured out. He was already giving Rilo and No Cap bread to hold them off though. Oh, okay. Rilo stayed down with Baby, so it, but it, No it, Cap it. didn't think signing a baby was best for his career. Mm. So Lil Baby felt some type of way. Oh, okay. He was doing all this for No Cap. Like you know what I'm saying? He threw No Cap bread, he promoted him, yeah. and he threw him on his album. Keep in mind, this was months before Ghetto Angels came out. This was by far the biggest look in No Cap's career at this time. So Baby was feeling like, after all I did for you, expecting yeah. you to sign, this is what you're going to do? We didn't see Baby around No Cap after this. But I don't think it was beef at this point. He was still coming around some 4PF niggas. We seen him and Marlo drop, and he was still dropping music with Rilo. Mm -hmm. And No Cap's career was getting bigger and bigger. He dropped Ghetto Angels. His stardom was going up. He dropped his album, The Back and Child, in May 2019, which had features from Quando Rondo and Rilo on it. But this would be the last song we got from Rilo and No Cap. Matter of fact, it was the last time we seen No Cap collab with anyone from 4PF. From this point on, No Cap was strictly NBA 4K Trey. He ended up signing with NBA Youngboy, while Rilo ended up signing with Lil Baby. No Cap and Lil Baby had issues behind the scenes, but it took them a little while before they made them public. It was some months before they started exchanging diss songs and threats. In between this time though, No Cap had a little setback, and we ended up seeing him all over the news. I'm sure it has some. I'm I'm sure this is this is just one of those things where it's like they both sign to different people and you know this side is getting in his ear and telling them, hey, you should stay, hey, hey, bro, you don't need to be messing with him. And you know, I'm sure likewise with with you know the other side, the other side is like, hey, you know, we don't really rock with them. You know what I'm saying? We don't really rock with them if you don't rock with them. So like, you know, hey. I guess you know it's it's best if is is best if you don't talk to him and it's, it's best if you don't talk to him. So I'm sure it's just people getting in their ears and stuff. In tonight's Fox News Fugitive Files, a local rapper is in pretty big trouble. Mobile police say he shot up a house and people were inside at the oh. time when he did it. Oh, Mr. Man. Crawford showed up, arrived on scene. The victim fled into the house. Uh, Mr. Crawford then fired shot into the house. Mobile police say Crawford is considered armed and dangerous. If you've seen him or know where Crawford is, call Fox 2 News Fugitive Files. They say no cap and his sister put up to their ops house. Mm. No cap sprayed the house up, then his sister skirted off. They went back to their crib, but it only took a few days before they, they were wanted by police. No cap's sister got arrested first, while no cap laid low for a few days and dropped one last song before turning himself in. Luckily for no cap, none of the bullets connected, so we only had to sit down for two months. While No Cap was in jail, his relationship with 4K Trey was still going strong. They was calling in, checking up on him, putting money on his books. And while he was in jail, Young Boy finally released a song together, throwing the song with him, No Cap, and Quando on AI Young Boy 2. No Cap was also in jail trying to squash his beef with Lil Baby. He was trying to reach out and kept getting no response, which solidified their issues even further. No Cap got released shortly afterwards. And about a year after he got released, he finally spoke on his 4PF beef publicly. Wait, hold on. So you mean to tell me while he was in jail, he was trying to squash the beef and he was reaching out and nobody was reaching back? Wow. That's crazy. That that shows you that he really wanted to, he really didn't, he really didn't want to have, he really didn't want to like, want there to be any for real problems. He just wanted to be back. He really wanted to be back cool with little baby. And I guess that I guess the I guess 4PF wasn't having it. That's crazy. A little baby fan page posted up a 4PF family tree, which had no cap on it, which no cap reposted to his story saying it ain't no tree, basically saying he don't fuck with them niggas. Huh. The blog start picking it up, say cheese posted it, and 4PF popped right in the comments. One of little baby's right hand men, a 4PF rapper named Cole Hearted Savage, huh. responded laughing saying no cap want to be gang so bad, and another 4PF nigga said on oh, God. Savage said he gonna handle No Cap when he sees him. And No Cap hopped in the comments telling Savage oh, he wow, pussy. Okay. And that he gonna make sure he catch up with him first. 
Savage responded saying you the definition of your name, Cap. Then this cold hearted Savage nigga said no Cap barred from Atlanta. Posting with the caption, he can't come back to Atlanta, he on punishment. We'll take a nigga jewelry on some funny shit. No Cap responded with his own caption saying fuck the mother niggas is still RP Rude. Now if y'all don't know who Rude is, it's a nickname from Marlo. He was one of Lil Baby's oh. close friends that was around while No Cap oh, was still no. fucking with 4PF. Oh, no. So basically, he paid Marlo his respects, but saying it's still fuck the rest the, of 4PF niggas. Young boy hopped in his comments saying fuck all of them too. Oh. And Young Boy's manager uh -oh. also hopped in the comments saying uh -oh. fuck them niggas. And if Yo. one of them get out of line, we gonna bust their oh, head. Man. At this point, it was really 4K Trey versus wow. 4PF. Young Boy and his peoples were all standing behind No Cap. Niggas was picking their sides. And Rilo had to choose whether he was standing behind mm. No Cap or Lil Baby. Oh, man. Rilo spoke out. Saying ain't no beef with no one we getting money and throwing 4PF under it. Saying he's still rocking with 4PF, but he don't got no bad blood with no cap. Now even though he's saying he got no bad blood with cap, him staying around little baby and 4PF is picking a side. This is why we haven't Pretty seen much. him and no cap drop music or be around each other since. He chose to stay on 4PF and they I'm sure I'm sure Rollo ha I'm sure Rollo don't got a problem with, with no cap. It's just he has to he has to stand under the banner and flag that, you know. Stand under the same banner as you know the person who, who you know what I'm saying pays them pretty much little baby you know you can't go against somebody who you sign to you know but at the same time I'm sure he don't got no problem with with with, with no cap I'm sure he don't got I'm 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 pretty sure he don't got no problem with with uh the the re the rest of the 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 rest of the NBA NBA roster for real. They're not gonna allow him to drop no music with the ops. No Cap was understanding though, saying he loved Rilo forever, but fuck everything around him. Yeah. This hand little uh, No Cap and Baby that. Beef was finally coming to light. We had niggas throwing disrespect on both sides. The beef was very public now. And No Cap's niggas from his hometown was not fucking with Baby at all. They didn't even want to hear no little Baby. Yeah, NBA the day after his Instagram beef went down, No Cap's niggas are in the club, and they forced the DJ to turn little Baby's music off. They made them turn that baby off on Hey man, I was sitting, man, when they playing baby, we cut that shit off, man. Oh. Man, we in the club, they don't play no baby, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. When C-Team team pull up, when C-Team pull up, man, I don't know baby get played, oh, man. Now that's just what no caps nigga said. A nigga named Project Baby Juice came out telling a completely different story. He a nigga that's rocking with Lil Baby and 4PF, despite being one of no caps childhood friends. Oh, but okay. he came out saying that shit did not go down like that. When y'all see me in the club, the same club y'all was at, talking about y'all made them turn baby shit off, y'all did not do that when I was in there. When y'all see me, nigga, I chop all of you niggas off, y'all just walk about, baby, turn baby that, baby that. Man, they gonna play baby that they did, fuck the other label, fuck 1600 if you wanna get on that. Lil Baby hopped in his comments put in the muscle up emoji and No Cap hopped in the comments saying what type of snake shit is this? He knew Juice before all this rap shit. He was one of his real friends that switched up on it for 4PF and he addressed Juice in a leaked song talking about the situation with him and Rilo. My nigga changed on me for niggas that we barely knew Like that nigga Juice Got ghetto so confused And my mama too Like the pills got you trippin' Juice the niggas ain't did shit for you Never seen it come against that's what it is nigga fuck you too Ain't changing up on Rilo but we probably got He's saying that he want to be around Rilo, but with Rilo being signed a little baby, baby, that's just not going to happen. Yeah. But this club shit was the first time we've seen this beef spill into real life. Before this, it was just niggas talking over the internet. And the craziest part about it is that it's not even Lil Baby's niggas versus No Caps niggas. It's No Caps niggas versus niggas that used to be No Caps niggas. But the next day, yeah. Cold Hearted Savage posted up a phone call he had with No Cap, and he accused No Cap of doing all this shit for the internet, but copping pleas behind the scenes. <laughs> The nigga cut the video off, cause I told them fuck niggas I regret making the song cause I ain't want the media in our business. Tell the nigga post the whole thing. Niggas talking like it wasn't no smoke. Mm. Then no caps people came out with their own recording of Cold Hearted Savage. Oh, no way. Look. Look. I don't even know what's going on at this point. Mm -hmm. They hopping on the phone with each other and secretly recording to make the other one look bad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This shit a little goofy. But besides that, y'all should already know what's about to happen. With two rappers beefing, it's only a matter of time Something until they start dissing somebody, each other in yeah. songs. Remember how Baby and No Cap had that Dreams to Reality song? Well, Lil Baby and 4PF put their own spin on it, turning it mm. to a No Cap diss. We had Lil Baby, Cold Hearted Savage, and Dirty Tay all on the same track, spitting bars at No Cap. 
Baby hopped on talking about how niggas throwing shade and he ready to handle that. Dirty Tay was talking about how he turned his dreams to realities. How when niggas get mad they turn to bitches and how they gonna stop with glizzies. But Cold Hearted Savage came the most direct at no cap. And no cap responded coming very direct. Airing out exactly where this little baby smoke came from. Even using Lil Baby's own lyrics from dreams to realities to call out his hypocrisy. It said, turn my dreams into reality. I thought you'd be glad for me. I can't believe that you mad at me. Damn, dog, I'm proud of you. You had wanted me to stop before my time. I just couldn't do it. Turn my dreams to reality. I thought that you'd be glad for me. Damn, dog, I'm proud of you. Practice what you preach, niggas. Man, I went and got a big old bag. What type of street, niggas? I was trying to eat and put... It's just this is this ends up being just kind of like the beef with like uh like the beef between No Cap and Lil Baby just ends up being like the beef between I don't know if y'all remember but uh what's his name Young Dolph and Yo Gotti when Young Dolph and Yo Gotti was beefing with each other it's pretty much the same thing it's the, this this is the same exact thing that was happening. Yo Gotti wanted to sign Young Dolph. Young Dolph said, nah, I'm good, bruh. And after that, somehow that turned into beef because Yo Gotti, I guess, really wanted to sign Young Dolph. And Young Dolph was like, nah, I'm going to I'm I'm sign myself, pretty much. That's, that's the same thing that's happening here. No Cap went and made his own, you know what I'm saying, wrote his own ticket, pretty much. Four pockets, they full on me, and I heard the judge want me Acting like a bitch, cause I ain't signed, what type of big home? Two things I'ma do for sure, stay dangerous and get money This was just the first of many disses Baby and No Cap kept going back and forth in songs In another unreleased Baby song, they had some words for No Cap He acting bad on the ground, but we know it's gonna happen It happen in every occasion Somebody kill, I be telling my youngest to chill Check the stats, I do numbers for real And this ain't No Cap, I get money for real That little boy ain't run up, no comments for real Lil Baby was throwing bars back, at no go cap. Back, go back, go back, go back, go back. I need to go back. I need to go back. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Yeah. Somebody kill. I be telling my youngest to chill. Check the stats, I do numbers for real. And this ain't no cap, I get money for real. That little boy ain't ran up no comments for real. Lil Baby was throwing he bars at no, no cap, cap this whole song. He said, Cap a no bitch, cap. he got feminine ways. Wow. And if he gets the drop, he gonna pay to have niggas shoot at him. He said, Cap be trying to diss him, but that shit don't affect him. And when he catch no cap, he gonna see what's up with that shit he was saying. And y'all remember when Cole. This man is beef. I, once again, I gotta say, he beefing with like the biggest rapper in the game right now. This is crazy. This is so crazy. I and and I and I actually like No Cap's music. Oh, the Savage hopped on Instagram saying No Cap was banned from Atlanta. Well, Lil Baby said that in his song too. He can't come to the A. He don't punish me. He catch that boy out of place. We gonna punish him. Take his chain and his watch on some funny shit. Catch him, we gonna spray him. Who said I can't come to Atlanta? In Atlanta with them shooters. Thought I told you I was brave too. After this, No Cap made it his mission to come to the A every chance that he got. Wow. He would post on his story when he was in Atlanta. That nigga kept having shows out there. Should he even call Atlanta his second home? I don't know what type of band Baby put on him, but clearly that shit is not working. But about a month after they whole little family tree feud, No Cap tweeted he was dropping the album soon, to which Cold Hearted Savage responded saying no one wants that trash ass shit. This will be the last time we seen 4PF go at it with No Cap for a while. This beef will go quiet for a few months, and in that time, No Cap ended up going back to jail. He went back on a probation violation, Dang, and No Cap had to spend He's six so months behind bars, too, getting out in July of last year. Man. No Cap came out on fire, going platinum with vaccine so, and dropping talented, banger after bro. banger. He also copped a brand new Ice Style NBA chain. We also seen him with Quando Rondo and Youngboy's brothers B-Way and 3-3. He was letting it be known that he was still NBA 4K Trey, and they had his back too. A few months later, we seen Quando Rondo on Clubhouse arguing with some 4PF niggas. One of the niggas he was arguing with was actually Dirty Tay, if y'all remember him from earlier in this video. He's the one that hopped on that no cap diss with Cold Hearted Savage and Lil Baby. But Quando had this to say to him and the other 4PF niggas in that call. Man, I'm saying Lil Dirty, that's Lil Dirty T, what's up, cuz? Y'all niggas ain't my ops, wait. Who said that? Who? Who? Man, look, bro, who you talking to? I'm not your little bro. Man, I know a nigga ain't my up, cause a nigga has to be dead around this shit. Man, you a bitch, nigga. Sing your number, nigga. We trying to drop the load, nigga. Fuck all that talking. We trying to drop the load. So Quando was beefing with 4PF on Clubhouse, and we also seen Youngboy throwing shots at 4PF. He came out with I hate Youngboy, and he had these bars for Lil Baby. 
The whole 4K trade was behind No Cap with his beef, and No Cap had words for Baby 2. In February of this year, No Cap came out saying that the only reason him and Rilo not dropping music is because Lil Baby won't clear the songs. But that wasn't it. In March, Lil Baby and his girl Jada Wader broke up, and once the news hit, No Cap was in her comments shooting his shot, dropping her hard eyes under her wow. post. Shit, even a few days before dropping this video, a fan asked No Cap to make music with Lil Baby, to which he responded, no. So they clearly still don't fuck with each other to this day. Lil Baby don't be saying so much about Cap, he mostly just be ignoring No Cap's distance towards him. But the way these niggas was talking, I hope they don't run into each other. But if y'all made it to the end of this video, drop in the comments who y'all think right in this situation. Nah, the reason why Lil Baby don't say nothing is because he know, he, know he know the feds watching. That's why he don't... With everything that's going on with, with Young Thug and rappers just randomly getting... Getting, getting arrested, getting, getting shot at. Yeah... Lil Baby is doing the smartest thing by saying nothing, honestly. But yeah, that, that's the end of the video. Um, honestly, hopefully, at some point, No Cap and Rallo Rodriguez start making music again because that would be fire. I, that would just be fire. Um, but I think this at at this point, it's just like a thing of like, it's just like it's just a thing of like I don't mess with the people in your, you know, what I'm saying in your crew and your your side don't mess with my side, so I. That, that's the only re that's by default that's the reason why they not cool i'm sure so all right y'all i'll see y'all later peace